Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 20th of 2022. Well, it is titled Jupiter and ring in infrared from Webb. So what do we see here? Well, this is another image from the James Webb Space Telescope. And we see here not a distant object, but instead one in our own solar system. And in this case, we are looking at a planet and the planet is Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. Now, while it will look different, do remember that the Webb Space Telescope is primarily looks in the very long wavelengths of visible light and the infrared. So it's not going to look like a true color image as we may be used to seeing from other images. However, we do see a lot of detail here and let's label a few of the major portions on it. And you can see that in the central region on Jupiter itself, we see the great red spot. Now again, remember that this is not a true color image. So the great red spot does appear white here. Uh, but it is a swirling storm that has been present on Jupiter perhaps for hundreds of years or longer as long almost as long as we've been able to observe Jupiter with a telescope there have been reports of being able to see a large storm such as this one and in fact it's been continuously observed for at least a hundred to 150 years we also see a the moon Europa. Now you see Europa's shadow there just to the left of the great red spot. The moon itself is well off to the right left sorry the left hand side and you can see it there with the diffraction pattern going through it and the that is Jupiter's moons one of its larger four larger moons and those are one of the four that were originally seen by Galileo with his small telescope back in the 1600s as the first evidence of something that orbited that did not orbit either Sun or Earth so that was orbiting another object so we learned that there could be multiple centers of motion now we also see um, a couple of other small moons Metis uh, to the right and Thebe to the left and those are some of the smaller moons actually associated with the ring which is very faint here but actually visible Jupiter's ring was actually quite a surprise when it was discovered uh, in 1979 by the Voyager 1 spacecraft and still trying to understand why it is formed and it looks like it has been confirmed that it is the uh, impacts on Metis that are causing this meteors as meteors and objects strike it debris is thrown off and being a very small object it doesn't have a very strong gravity so a good impact can actually knock material off and that then becomes part of the ring particles that we see now it's a very faint ring and does not begin to rival that of its fellow large planet Saturn which has very distinct rings known for hundreds of years. These were not discovered in fact until we traveled out beyond Jupiter to look back and see them if in lit from behind in, instead and were then able to detect this very thin faint ring. So another nice image from the James Webb Space Telescope as new images are being released as it begins to ob its observing of different parts of our universe and we've seen images here of a planet. We've also seen various images of nebulae and very distant galaxies with more images to come. So that was our picture of the day for July 20th of 2022. It was titled Jupiter and Ring in Infrared from Webb. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.